Hey everybody, Bohush here for PhotoDeoxPro.com. A few months ago, PhotoDeox quietly introduced a new type of lens adapter. This lens adapter has a built-in variable ND filter and it's called the ND throttle. Uh, they sold out pretty fast and we got a couple questions again and again since then. Uh, when are they coming back? And also, when are we going to introduce more different types of ND throttle? And the answer to both questions is today, right now. We're bringing you six different ND throttles. Now, if you haven't heard of the ND throttle, don't worry about it. By the end of this video, you'll know all about why you might want a lens adapter with a built-in variable ND. Now, we were a little blown away by how much people liked the ND throttle. Uh, we made it into a bunch of blogs and magazines, and that was great. And uh, we heard you. You want more kinds of ND throttle, and you want to use it in both photo and video. Now, we've got ND throttles for Micro Four Thirds mount cameras and Sony NEX E-mount cameras. We've got four models for the Micro Four Thirds, two for the Sony NEX. If you're shooting with Micro Four Thirds, like my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema here, uh, we've got models of ND throttle for Canon FD, Canon EF lenses, Nikon G lenses, and Minolta MD lenses. If you're shooting with one of the Sony NEX style cameras, then you can mount a Canon EF lens or a Minolta MD lens with the ND throttle. So to test these guys out, we went to visit the knaves and wenches of the Bristol Renaissance Fair. Where, uh, where else can you see historically accurate battles, historically accurate costumes, and of course, uh, historically accurate nachos? Now the battles and the people were awesome subjects for shooting, and I went for that shallow depth of field to get kind of a cinematic look. But the, uh, the lighting kept changing, and uh, I didn't have any external lights with me or anything like that. Um, but the ND throttle let me make smooth, on-the-fly adjustments, especially in the middle of a shot, to have everything come out looking pretty great. Now using the ND throttle is really easy. It mounts on your camera just like any other lens adapter. You line up the dot on your lens with the one on the adapter, screw it together, and then you just put the whole assembly on your camera just like normal. Couldn't be easier. Now with the ND built into the adapter, uh, this is especially good if you're a person who swaps between lenses. Uh, you suddenly give all of your lenses that extra level of control uh, with the ND throttle. Now if you want to get a little more technical, we've created a video that answers the top five questions about using an adapter with a built-in variable ND filter. And you can see it by clicking right here. We get kind of specific about some of the tech stuff. And you'll see that there are both handy utility reasons to use a variable ND, and there are some creative and artistic reasons too. Like you can shoot longer exposures in bright conditions, like in broad daylight, get that kind of ethereal, dreamy look, uh, even when the sun is out. Uh, if you're shooting photo or video, it's often nice to get shallow depth of field. Now you can do that in daylight as well. Now for those of you who may not have explored shooting with ND filters that thoroughly yet, let's talk about them for a sec. Uh, usually these are simple screw-in filters, they go on the front of the lens, uh, they come in varying shades of darkness, think of them as like kind of sunglasses you're putting on the front of your lens. Uh, you just screw the one you want in on the front, the thing is you have to carry around a whole set of them with you, and you might have to do a couple swaps before you get the result that you want, and by then you may have missed the shot. So there's a handy alternative called a variable ND. It's a single filter, it has a control ring on it, and it lets you adjust the level of shading, which beats bringing a whole set of NDs to every shoot, a super handy thing to have in your camera bag. But if you're a person who shoots and you swap lenses, you're going to need a variable ND for each size lens that you're bringing. So that's where the ND throttle comes in. By building the variable ND into the adapter itself, any lens that you attach to the camera is going to have a variable ND built in, ready to go. So you can save a little time on your shoot, you can save space in your camera bag, but the most important thing to me is you won't miss a shot while you're looking in your bag for an ND that fits. One interesting quirk about variable NDs that's worth mentioning is that they don't work on wide-angle lenses when you mount them on the front. Even a zoom lens that's set to like 24 or 30 or 35, uh, the physics kind of breaks down and you get this kind of cross-shaped pattern. But by putting the variable ND behind the lens, you eliminate that problem and all of your lenses can have variable ND flexibility no matter how wide the shot is. Now all six models of the ND throttle have this blue ring for adjusting the effect of the variable ND. And it goes from ND2 on the low end all the way up to ND1000. And there's even a little extra range at the end for videographers so you can throttle all the way down to complete darkness if you want. 
Now, ND throttles for the Nikon G and Canon FD series of lenses have an additional manual aperture control right on the adapter. Uh, Nikon G, it's crucial. You can't adjust the aperture any other way. And with the Canon FD, these lenses usually have an aperture ring right on the lens itself. However, it is clicked. So if I were changing that during a shot, you'd see it, click, 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 click. Whereas uh, the one on the adapter is declicked. So I was able to smoothly adjust the aperture as I needed to, smoothly add a little bit of variable ND, and just control what my video looks like during the shot itself. Uh, Minolta lenses, Minolta lenses have aperture controls right on the lenses themselves, and uh, if you're going to use Canon EF, well, make sure you get a manual lens. You're going you're to thank me later. Now, with the ND built into the adapter, you can swap between lenses, gain an extra level control with any lens you attach to the ND throttle. That's great for me because I'm all about spontaneity. I uh, mostly do video, and you never know when the conditions are going to change, especially when you're shooting outside. Uh, and it's really painful if one of those changes comes along in the middle of a shot. Uh, for example, at the Ren Faire, the cloud cover kept changing, which threatened to ruin uh, some of the longer shots I was taking. With the ND throttle, I was able to smoothly keep up with the changes and save the shot. So click the link down below this video to learn more about the ND throttle, and you can order one of your own. Uh, quantities are limited, and we did sell out last time, so you may want to lock yours in right now by clicking the link down below this video. And if you click right here, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and see more videos just like this one. So get spontaneous, get creative, and get flexible with the Photodeox ND throttle. And uh, huzzah!